Hi, everyone. Uh, I'm Jiana Yao from Columbia University. Uh, today, I'll present our paper, Dual AI, Fast Automated Inference of Inductive Invariance for Verifying Distributed Protocols. Oh, this is joint work with Run Zhou Tao, Run Hui Gu, and Jason Li. Why do we want to learn inductive invariance for distributed protocols? We know distributed protocols are hard to design and implement correctly due to non-determinism. Consider a simple scenario where node A sends a message to node B and node B sends a reply. It's possible that the packet is lost in the network. It's also possible that node B is powered off during the process. In some settings, it's also possible that node B is compromised by hackers and sends an erroneous reply intentionally. To ensure our distributed protocol works fine in all these circumstances, we can use formal verification to prove its correctness. And to prove our desired property holds for the protocol, the key is to find an inductive invariant. Consider a simple consensus protocol where a collection of nodes try to decide on a single value. Each node can vote for itself or another node to be the leader. Once a node receives a majority or a quorum of votes, it becomes the leader and can decide on a value which everyone else will follow. Our desired property of such consensus protocol is that for every two nodes and for any two values, if node one decides on value one and node two decides on value two, then the two values must be the same. In other words, the system cannot decide on two distinct values. The correctness property is an invariant, which means it holds at any time during protocol execution. However, it is not strong enough to be inductive by itself. By inductive, we mean starting from any state that satisfies the invariant and taking any valid transition, we should reach a new state that still satisfies the invariant. To make the property inductive, we need to find four additional invariants such that the conjunction of the property and the invariants is strong enough to be inductive. We can see that most of these invariants include only for all quantifiers or universal quantifiers, while the third formula, exist quorum Q for all node N1, N2, includes both existential and universal quantifiers. Such an invariant is particularly challenging to find. The first, challenge is the, the first challenge is the huge formula search space. For the simple consensus protocol, there are 35,000 candidate formulas if we consider formulas up, up to four terms. The second challenge is the slow SMT cost. To validate an invariant is correct, we have to call an SMT solver and these SMT queries can be prohibitively expensive. For the Paxos protocol, there are more than 100 correct invariants. If we want to prove 35 of them are correct and we throw them to an SMT solver, it will take three hours to complete the query. And if we, if we throw 50 invariants to an SMT solver, it will time out after seven days. So we have to avoid two complex SMT queries. Well, actually, for the Paxos protocol, a small subset of 14 variants are enough to prove our desired property, but it is unclear how to identify this small subset of invariants. There's a large body of existing work on invariant inference to verify distributed protocols. Just in the past 18 months, at least seven papers have been published in this area including our prior work, This AI, which won the Best Paper Award at OSDI last year. The active research demonstrates both the importance of the problem and the challenges it faces. We can roughly divide the existing tools using three criteria, whether they support existential quantifiers, whether they have a theoretical guarantee to find the correct invariant, and whether they are scalable to large complex protocols such as stoppable Paxos. We can see that no existing tool can do all three. In this paper, we present Dual AI, an automated invariant inference tool to verify distributed protocols. It learns invariants with both for all and exists. It's guaranteed to find a correct inductive invariant if one exists, and it runs fast in practice. 
So the way I suppose it is, have a guarantee and can support large complex protocols, it solves all three challenges that no existing tool can. Here we introduce the workflow of dual AI. Given the distributed protocols, we first simulate the protocol randomly and repeatedly. This gives us a collection of samples. Then we enumerate possible formulas and check their validity on the samples. This gives us a set of candidate invariants. Then dual AI uses two procedures, one we call top-down refinement, the other we call bottom-up refinement. Both procedures interact with IB, which builds on top of the Z3 SMT solver, and try to refine the candidate invariants until they become inductive. The invariant enumeration and refinement procedures are parameterized by a formula search space. If we cannot find an inductive invariant within a small search space, we will enlarge our formula space and try again. Next, I'll talk about the four components in detail. First, protocol simulation. Given a distributed protocol, we do random simulation and record the execution traces. We get a set of uh, protocol states like these that we call samples. Any correct invariant must hold on all protocol states, so it must hold on all samples. We can use these samples to quickly filter out most incorrect invariants. For the simple consensus protocol, among the 35 candidate formulas, only around 2,000 hold on the samples, so that's a big reduction on the search space. Next, I'll talk about invariant enumeration. Although samples can reduce our search space to 2,000, there are still too many redundant invariants, and checking all of them is too slow. Our idea is to only find the strongest invariants. Consider these two formulas. Formula one says that every node votes for itself, while formula two says that there exists a node that votes for itself. We know formula one implies formula two, and what this implication further means is that if we already have formula one in our invariant set, then adding formula two has no benefits other than making SMT checking slower. So DOI I will try to first enumerate and check Formula 1, and only when it fails will DOI I move on to consider Formula 2. To systematically capture these implication relations, we propose the minimum implication graph. Here we show a fraction of the graph for the simple consensus protocol. Each node represents a formula, and each edge represents an implication relation between two formulas. One can verify that along each edge, the predecessor implies the successor. In the paper, we establish important theoretical property of the minimum implication graph and also provide a sound and complete algorithm to construct the graph given the protocol and the search space. Now, with this minimum implication graph, we enumerate possible formulas in the search space and check their validity on the samples. We start with the strongest possible formulas here, formula A, which is not implied by anyone else. Pending means it will be checked next. So suppose formula A does not hold on the samples, we will make it invalidated, and we will move on to consider its weaker forms, its successors B and C. Next, suppose formula B holds on the samples, we will make it a candidate invariant. And very importantly, we will not move on to consider either formula D or E, as we said before, when a stronger formula is already in the candidate set, adding a weaker one is a waste of time. So we'll move on to consider formula C. Suppose it doesn't hold on the samples, we'll make it invalidated, and we'll move on to consider formula E and F. For formula E, because it already has another predecessor, B, in the candidate set, we will simply skip this formula instead of checking it. For formula F, Suppose it holds on the samples, we will make it a candidate invariant. This gives our final candidate invariant set, formulas B and F. Using the minimum implication graph, enumeration ends with the 19 strongest candidate invariants. This process ensures that we do not miss any correct invariant in the huge search space, and also we do not include any redundant invariant. 
Next, I'll talk about top-down refinement. Let's continue with our example. After enumeration, we will feed the candidate invariance to Ivy, which will call the SMT solver to prove their correctness. Suppose Ivy says everything is inductive, then we are down and the protocol is proved. But if Ivy says, well, formula B is not inductive, then we need to weaken this failed formula. Why weaken? Because we know that invariant enumeration gives the strongest possible formulas. So when it fails, it can only be too strong rather than too weak. So here we need to weaken formula B, and the way to do that is to make B invalidated and add its weaker forms, formulas D and E, to the candidate set. In the next iteration, IV will determine whether formulas D and E are inductive, and we may continue weakening accordingly until we reach an inductive invariant. Next, I'll talk about bottom-up refinement. So why do we bother to have another refinement procedure other than top-down refinement? Well, we observe that SMT solvers struggle when they are both for all and exists in the invariants. We find that when there are more than 20 such invariants, it takes hours or longer to complete a single SMT query. And for some real complex protocols, there are hundreds or more such invariants. So DOI I goes through a separation process that divides the candidate invariants into a universal inductive core and other non-core invariants. The universal inductive core, as its name suggests, only include, universal only include universal quantifiers, so they are friendly to SMT solvers. The core is inductive by itself, although it may not prove our desired property. On the other hand, non-core candidates mostly consist of invariants with both for all and exists, and they are costly to SMT solvers. In practice, very few of these non-core candidates are needed to prove the protocol. DOI uses a counterexample guided search process to try to identify a small subset out of this non-core, and then we join the universal core and this subset, then do top-down refinement to try to reach an in inductive invariant that can prove our desired property. In this way, we guarantee that we never feed too many invariants with both for all and exist to the SMT solver. And if this process fails, we will get a new counterexample, and we can try a new subset. We prove that if we run candidate invariant enumeration following the minimum implication graph, then we do top-down refinement, then we are guaranteed to find a correct inductive invariant if one exists in our search space. The same strong theoretical guarantee also holds for bottom-up refinement. Each method has its own advantages. DOI runs both procedures in parallel and returns whichever succeeds first. We evaluate DOI on 27 common distributed protocols. Among them, 15 are provable with only universal invariants. The other 12 require both for all and exists. We compare DOI with six existing tools, including UPDR, I4, FOIC3, IC3PO, Swiss, and DistAI. We allow each tool to run seven days on each protocol. Here we show the summarized result. DOI solves 26 out of 27 protocols more than any other tool. In the bottom, we see that DistAI, UPDR, and I4 are only able to prove protocols provable with universal invariants. And the top, dual AI, along with Swiss, IC3PO, and FOIC3, are able to find invariants with both for all and exists. Yet dual AI proves more protocols in both the for all only category and the exist included category. Among the protocols proved by both dual AI and an alternative method, we compare the runtime, whether DOI is faster or an alternative tool is faster. We can see that compared with each alternative tool, DOI is faster on more protocols. The next question is, how much is DOI faster or slower? Here we show the results on the 11 protocols that require both for all and exists. DOI is able to prove all 11 of them. We use DOI runtime as a standard and show the relative speed of other tools against DOI. 
Here, NA means the tool fails. It either times out after seven days or throws an error. We can see that for protocols that everyone can solve, including client server AE and consensus EPR, doing ice is, is significantly faster than alternative tools. There are very few instances where DOI is slower. For hybrid reliable broadcast, only DOI and FOIC3 are able to prove them, and DOI is only 30% slower than FOIC3. For the complicated Paxos and flexible Paxos protocols, only DOI and Swiss are able to prove them, and DOI is more than two magnitude faster than Swiss. For the most complicated protocols, including multi Paxos, stoppable Paxos, and fast Paxos, DOI is the only tool to verify these protocols. In summary, we present DOI, an automated invariant inference tool to verify distributed protocols. We propose the minimum implication graph, thus candidate invariant enumeration on the graph, and then we do top-down refinement and bottom-up refinement. Our evaluation shows that DOI solves more protocols and runs faster than, than alternative methods. That's all. Thank you for listening.